welcome back to Mo's World. I'm Mo, and today I'm coming up here with my last retightening for the year. Yeah, I just got a first retightening this morning, and it's my last retightening definitely before my two year mark. So I am super stoked. Um, it's crazy how time is flying by. Um, my two year lock anniversary, I said two year anniversary, I'm sorry, my two year lock anniversary is December 5th and 6th. Those are the two days I got established, and that is next Wednesday and Thursday. So it is around the corner. I am so excited. Um, I am not one to come up here and lie and say, oh my gosh, it felt like just yesterday when I got my locks, and now they're just flourishing. No, no, no. It was a process, it was a journey, and it still is a process, and it still is a journey. My hair is still nowhere near being um, completely locked. Um, it has to do with the length of my hair that I came in. Um, if you all are watching for the first time, welcome. A um, little backstory for me. I had, my longest length was about 17 inches when I came in to get my hair locked. Um, and my hair is extremely soft. Uh, every time somebody gets their hands in my hair, they're like, oh my gosh, your hair is so soft. All of the lock, each loctician has been, your hair is so soft. And I'm like, thank you. It's just taking longer for it to lock. And I look at other people's hair that's a bit more, it's thick and it's a bit more coarse texture. And I'm just like, oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> so I don't know. It's always, the grass is always greener on the other side. I love my locks. I love my hair. I love my texture. It just is taking longer for it to lock. Um, but you know, everybody's journey is different. And I have been enjoying my journey. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, so let's see. What do I need to update? Because I have a lot of updates for you guys. <laughs> this one is one that's like packed with updates. Um, first, the Manic Panic Hair Color update. My hair is pretty much just a tint now. Um, I don't really see it up in here. It's pretty much on my ends that I see it left. Um, and when I say a tint, like it is like just like a tint pretty much left. Uh, I think it's been about two months since I put in the color. Don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. I was supposed to look at it before I came up here, and of course, um, I forgot. <laughs> so if two months is not right, somewhere across the screen it'll flash uh, what how long it's been since I actually put in the color. It's a temporary um, color. Was it semi permanent? Is that what it is? Tempor yeah, semi permanent color. <laughs> And for it to have shown up so vibrantly, like, or so vibrant like it did, like, it was totally worth it. I already have the color for the second time for me doing it. I am not going to do it now. I am in my best friend's wedding the beginning of February, so I want to wait until after the wedding. Don't want to do anything crazy before then. And then immediately afterwards, I plan on putting in the next color. So stay tuned for that in the new year, February time frame. <gasps> Ooh, maybe Valentine's Day time. Okay, that's happening. That is going down. Okay, put it for the books. Be, be here again, February 14th, 2019. It's going down. We're going to do some manic panic in the hair. Okay. Enough said. Moving on to the other updates because I got a lot. Um, y'all, through y'all's encouragement, um, I have decided I'm going to start self-retightening my hair. Gasp. I know. I know, y'all. I know we've talked through this. If, we, if you've been here since the beginning, which hasn't been super long because I just started, I think, in January. <laughs> um... You know that I have been tossing and turning about figuring out should I retighten my hair or not. And I originally was going to start retighten, self retightening my hair. I was going to take the sister lock self retightening class back in, mm, I think that was May. It was May or June. Yeah, I think it was May. So, um, but when I went there, found out the health of my hair, my locks were not in the best of shape and just a bunch of other things. And at that point I was like, okay, well, I'm going to switch over to locticians and go from there. So my goal was always, okay, let me come back and check the health of my hair by the end of the year. If it's in a better state, then I'm going to try to self-retighten. And I had forgotten about that, honestly. I was, you know, good vibes. Things were going well. It's great location. I was paying less. It was like, hey, I could do this. 
but then honestly a subscriber <laughs> i do not remember her name um put on here on one of my videos don't remember that video either um just about hey girl i think it was my last update i think it was my last lock update uh was like you know you can do this you know you've got this there are so many YouTube videos about it. There's so many websites about it. There's so many locking tools out there that are super affordable or you can make your own. Like, you can do this. And honestly, her comment, if you know who you are, thank you if you're watching, um, was just so inspiring and so encouraging that it was like, why the heck am I not doing this? Like. This was this was the original goal, you know. Like that was the original goal. How could I forget that? So I set a preliminary appointment, regardless, for my next retightening, uh, just in case, you know, things went awry or whatever. But now I'm at the point now, I guess, in the crossroads, should I take the sister locks retightening class? Um, that I mean, the person. One of the women that is in the same shop that I go to, she is R certified, so that means she is certified to teach you how to self-retighten your own hair. That is originally why I came to her in the first place. <laughs> um, or just figure it out myself. I'm kind of leaning towards figuring it out myself. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. I, I like this. Actually, it's actually going down this time. Like, I know we talked about this last time, but then I got a wake-up call. You know, realized my locks weren't where they needed to be. So, um, it's happening now. My hair is definitely, the health of my hair is definitely there. Like, I am just, my my locks are flourishing, man. I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving where I'm at. I'm loving the season. It's just, it's time to take things, take matters into my own hands. Um, so I'm excited. I'm super, super, super excited. So I bought the O-Locker tool. I bought the mini and the small. I bought it honestly in January because I originally was going to shoot for late spring, early summer of this year to start retightening my hair. So I had already bought the stuff. Like I was ready. I saw so many reviews specifically from... Uh, Devony, I know anybody who has locks, sister locks, micro locks, whatever, has seen her video. Um, her videos, her videos have just, I mean, I remember watching them when I was looking at even, like, about to start my journey. It was just so encouraging because I saw her hair and I was like, oh my gosh, my hair is not super thick like all these other ladies I've seen too. Like, it's super encouraging to see somebody else with different texture hair and, you know, just a different grade of hair. So, um, that... I saw she's had she has actually quite a few reviews and videos up there about the O-Locker tool and then others have taken off of her video and have also done it themselves like um, Lavinia Living Life I believe that's the way you say her name um, she's done it as well with that same tool um, and a few other people I know I'm blanking on people's names but that's what I bought that's what I'm gonna use so as of now I either am going to attempt to figure out how to do it myself <laughs> And just, you know, so many people have done it, so I'm thinking, like, can it be that difficult? Especially when I have, like, half the amount of locks that most people have up here. Um, that's what I'm looking at doing. So, I have a three-point rotation, but that's the sister locks three-point rotation. You know how their stuff is, like, patented. So, I don't know if that's, like, I think for me, it's, like, as long as I'm not creating holes and it's some type of three-point rotation, I should be squared away. You all tell me if I'm wrong. Please tell me now. <laughs> because I am looking to start, I, I'm looking to do my first retightening the first weekend in January. So, um, I, I need some answers. I need some encouragement. I need some help. I need some love. Please send <laughs> anything you can send. Please put in the comment section below, please. If you've got any advice, if you've done this and you know what you're doing and you just, you know, words of wisdom, encouragement, Please light my comment section up because <laughs> this is happening and I'm like super, super stoked, but I'm so also nervous. Um, that was my big, big, big update. Uh, I guess I can show you all my hair as well. Um, the first retie, oh, those baby locks that kept coming out from like the previous time, nothing came out. So 
this is second time where we are squared away with baby locks. Like, they're kind of pinned up into this part, but um, baby locks are secure. I have been locking those suckers down with a rubber band, like, really, really, really well. So, they're, they're squared away. But let me just kind of do a turnaround for you guys. And it is just growing, y'all. So, and locking because it's not as stretchy as it once was. Before I could pull my hair and let it stretch. Now it goes to, I don't know if y'all can see that, goes to about like bra strap length, right? Like it's about right here. That's not even, because the bottom of my bra is like right here and it's like right here, right now. Like, if I pull it, right? Well, before I used to be able to pull it and it was going down to about right here. So it is definitely losing its spring, which is awesome. Like it's springiness. It is locking up, which is super encouraging. Um, yeah, so it definitely doesn't have as much spring anymore. Like, yeah, it still has spring because of my curls and just my texture, but it's locking, guys. It's locking and it's getting thicker and I just, I'm excited. Like, I'm, I'm just super excited. And I thank you all for just <laughs> sticking it out with me and through all my stuff and story times and everything and just the things I've dealt with in my journey and me just being able to be real and honest with you guys and just your encouragement throughout the entire process. So, um, I got to get off of here. <laughs> um, it's already been probably too long of a video, but I wanted to share all of those updates. Um, I have to go because hubby is taking me off. This is my birthday weekend. Woo, woo, woo. So I'm excited. Turn 29 tomorrow. Uh, hubby surprised me last night and said, hey, pack up your stuff. He gave me a note of things to pack for the weekend. I do not know where I'm going. I know that I am leaving in about an hour. <laughs> He's picking me up and we're off. I have no idea where we're going. We're going away for the weekend and I'm super stoked. So, I can't stay up here <laughs> any longer because I did completely pack. I'm done packed. I'm done with packing, which that's good. But I have to go run some, I have to go run an errand or two before he gets home. So, um, I gotta hurry. <laughs> I don't want him waiting on me. And then he'd be like, what were you doing? And I can't tell him, I was making a YouTube video. <laughs> You're about to get me in trouble. Anyways, um, I hope this video finds you blessed. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to update? If there is anything else, <laughs> we'll have to put it somewhere else. But um, please comment below if you want to know my moisture routine during the winter. It has changed up since the changing of the seasons, and I have very dry scalp. So if you are a person who does a dry scalp and you are not in the baby stage anymore of your locks, uh, let me know if you want to know my new moisture routine. Um, it's still very simple, very laid back, but if you'd like to know, please comment below and I can create that video for you guys. Um, and I think that is everything. All right. <laughs> Again, I hope this video finds you blessed and wherever you're at, please take care. Bye.